Most of those skills that are in that level, you can learn just from freely available resources online. I'm trying to save you that ego and that owo. I'm trying to save you money. If you're new here, my name is Krista Dakeja, language lover and fellow learner. It is my mission to empower people who want to learn the Yoruba language or the Igbo language to successfully do so. So after I married my husband Femi back in 2018 and decided that I wanted to start learning his language, I knew that I wanted to be as financially efficient as possible and through some trial and error, and yes, after wasting some money, I realized these four things. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the number one way to learn the Yoruba language or learn the Igbo language on your own without wasting your money is to use digital dictionaries. Sometimes I think we have this feeling like in order to have a real dictionary to, you know, really get me the, the ins and outs of the language, I need something on paper. The reality is a lot of the dictionaries that are going to give you the most bang for your buck are in digital format. I have never bought up a paper dictionary. Dictionary. Keep in mind that digital dictionaries are updated uh, more often. They have more words in them typically or can have more words. And if you do feel like you want like a stable dictionary that you don't have to search anything for, you can find some of those um, online too as well. So two of my favorite dictionaries for both Yoruba and Igbo are glossby.com and wordhippo.com. They just seem to have a lot of words on there. And like glossby.com, for example, gives you examples of how that particular word is used. Check those out. Um, I'll include links, links in the description below. So my second tip for you for how to learn the Yoruba language or Igbo language on your own without wasting your money is to invest in a good language textbook. Now, I love talking about textbooks, so I'm gonna try to keep this short. Here's the deal. You can find some textbooks that are on the lower end of the price range that do have some good explanations in them, like Beginner's Yoruba. That isn't, you know, it does a fairly decent job. This is on the lower end of the price range. Comprehensive Evo, this is on the lower end of the price range as well. They do break some things down for you, which is good. What you need to keep in mind though, is that as you get into the higher levels in learning the language, especially in that communication level or in the conversation level, there are explanations uh, for certain grammatical rules, for example, that are in textbooks that are nowhere else freely available on the internet. That's just the way it is. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, what that just means is that it is going to be worth it to invest in a high quality textbook. If you choose to invest in a low quality textbook from the beginning, you're probably gonna have to end up buying another one anyway, uh, once you get into the higher levels of the language. So you might as well buy a really high quality one from the beginning, that is actually going to save you money, right? Like this one, Colloquial Yoruba, this might cost you like 50 to $60 on Amazon, for example. Check out So Yoruba. This one's out of print, which means that they don't print new ones anymore. This was written, I think, in 1993, which means that the few copies that are out there are super expensive. Like you might pay multiple hundreds of dollars for this one textbook. Did I do that? No. Um, I got it from the library, which I suggest that you look for too. There's also Kanye So Ibo, Let's Speak Ibo. I got this from the library too. That one might cost you about 50 US dollars. Invest in that high quality textbook once and for all and have that, have that security knowing that I have a resource that I can trust without feeling like you have to go through lots of different books, trial and error in order to get to one that's actually going to be useful to you. And in the Learn Your Bottler and Evo Roadmap, um, which is part of the toolkit course, which I'll mention later, I give my recommendations for what textbooks are really going to be the best bang for your buck. But in my recommended resources for all the different language skills, I always do prioritize the free ones because I think it's super important to be efficient with our resources, financial and otherwise. Now, my third tip for you for how to save money in the process of learning your bar or Evo on your own is to be resourceful with your study tools. Now, there are some study tools that you could pay for. Um, I have mentioned Quizit before, for example. I'm a huge fan, I'm not affiliated. Um, I just think that it's really easy to use and really convenient. I had, do have a paid version of that. There are certain advantages that go with that, but there are ways that you can sort of approximate some of the features of the paid version of Quizlet, for example, without having the paid version of Quizlet. In terms of having like the record audio feature within the paid version, you can just do something sort of similar by just using a free voice recorder app on your phone to record vocabulary terms. So be efficient with your study skills. If you're finding that you're spending lots of money buying like index cards for you to make flashcards, like not only will using digital flashcards probably be, you know, take up less space, but it might be cheaper for you in the long run, right? Look for free workarounds to approximate the features that you could get from more expensive study tools. Now, my fourth tip for you for how to learn the Yoruba language or learn the Igbo language on your own without wasting your money is to not get a tutor 
too early. Now you may have heard me talk about the three different language levels before, the core basics level, the communication level, and the conversation level. If you've not heard me talk about that, make sure to watch this video uh, that I linked for you above. Here's the deal. In the core basics level, that first beginning level, most of those skills that are in that level, you can learn just from freely available resources online, which is awesome. Now, if your learning style really just feels comforted by having that language tutor, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting a tutor earlier. As I mentioned earlier, once you get into those higher language levels, the communication level probably starting out and the conversation level as well, there are certain skills that are only gonna show up for you either in textbooks or if you hire a tutor to teach you those things personally. Um, but I would say definitely try it first to get through that core basics level. Before you do hire that tutor, that is the way to be the most efficient with your money. The resources are out there. Like imagine you can um, get through the entire beginning level in either the Igbo language or the Yoruba language just from what you have at your fingertips. If you are finding a hard time knowing like what to focus your time on, then that means then that it's not for lack of resources. If you're like me, then you went through the experience of not really knowing how to move through those resources, what to focus on first, how to combine different resources together when one isn't breaking things down um, enough for you, how to bring in another resource so that you can get that solid understanding in order to move on to the next skill. It's exactly Exactly why I created Hack Nigerian Languages. So if you have not already, be sure to get my free gift to you, my Master Your by Master Evo checklist, where I show you like an overview of the steps to go through in order to really master one of these languages on your own. And if you want more than a checklist, you want uh, my recommended resources and the exact skills to cover at each level and how to combine the different resources together, go ahead and get in the Learn On Your Own Toolkit course. You can find that link in the description below as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. Like you are the reason why Hack Nigerian languages is here. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you know every time that I drop a new video for you because I publish them every single week. So I am really looking forward to seeing you in the next video. So with that, I'll say Kodi Odabo and I'll see you next time.